when we met, it was close to the end for him, and he, he struck me as a guy with a very raw sense of humour who took a lot of strength from making hip-hop and threw himself into music more than ever since his diagnosis. The WA hip-hop community is mourning the passing of local MC Hunter, who lost his battle with cancer late last month. On the 11th of October, I had the opportunity to sit down with him in what was to become his last interview. Today on the program, we'll explore the life and legacy of MC Hunter. It's the lonely road we tread from the day we are born to the day we become dead, living in our own head. Sometimes we get crowded as the selfish thoughts about to have to be the loudest in order to survive. Gotta look out for number one. My dad used to say to me, remember son, life is what you make, getting everything you get. Good or bad, I gotta take it, you're bound to make mistakes then. Just to set it straight, who you uh, 92, I started rapping in um, competitions and entering battles and stuff like that. And uh, it was funny because people always came up to me and said that uh, they liked it. Yeah. And uh, like I'd, I'd go and have a rap on the mic and people uh, would always approach me and say, man, that was really good. And then it wasn't, and then like in uh, 94, I think it was, I just saw this old, I saw this DJ mixer in Dick Smith and I, and I bought it and I started mixing tapes together and and, and even rec and then I bought an old plastic mic and started recording and I guess I didn't take it really serious so I guess it was the encouragement of my friends and um, to a lesser extent my family because I'll never forget one day I was rapping to my mate up in the room and my mum walked up and she goes my son is a rapper and from then on I just went yes that's what I am I'm a rapper Hunter released his first full-length album, Dun DL, in 2002. He's gone on to independently release four albums, and they're all available through Obese Distribution. Life changed for him pretty significantly in November 2009 when he collapsed on tour in Adelaide. On the morning of the show, I woke up in severe pain and uh, I, it happened before but I hadn't really taken much notice of it. But this time it stayed with me most of the, it just stayed with me through the morning. I was staying at someone else's house and I was by myself, everyone had gone to work and I'm looking through drawers for Panadol, couldn't find any. Um, so I thought, look, I've got to do something about this pain because I couldn't even bend over to put my shoes on. And anyway, so I went to, I ended up calling a taxi and going to the hospital. And um, we're at, at the hospital, they diagnosed me with gallstones and um, they offered me an ultrasound because um, if I'd have come back to Perth, I would have had to pay for an ultrasound. But because I was in hospital, they said, oh, well, if you, if you, if you get, it, get it now, and there's not much happening now, we're not that busy, yeah. it'll be free. So I did, I was like, yeah, of course, of course, if it's going to be free, I'll have, have it, you know. I'm always down for a free lunch. <laughs> 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 so they did the ultrasound, and um, and that's when they found uh, um, serious uh, liver damage, uh, which was turned out to be cancer. Uh, and I did the show, I just, just to make sure that, you know, I did the show Friday night. On the Friday night, I rocked the show. And um, I, it was probably one of my best performances ever. I was really stoked with the performance, actually, because I didn't have a drink. Because so, obviously I couldn't have a drink. Yeah. And um, it was the first time I'd ever done a show sober. <laughs> and do you, think that's, do you think that's what it was? Or do you think it's what was going on in your mind that made it? I think it was what was show. going on in my mind, yeah. Yeah, and I, I was in. I was still in a little bit of pain, uh, even though they had given me pre pretty strong painkillers. Um, and um, yeah, but yeah, and I really, I, I'm pretty proud of the performance I gave, considering the amount, the amount of pain I was in. Yeah, and and that I'd just been diagnosed with cancer. You know, it was like I didn't tell the crowd that. I told a few friends that were there that night who have been diagnosed with cancer, but everyone was so drunk that they didn't really sort of understand, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
must have been such a huge shock for you. Yeah, it was pretty surreal. Um, yeah, it was pretty out there, I tell you. Since that diagnosis, MC Hunter released two full-length albums, Monster House with DJ Vame in 2010 and Fear and Loathing with Morta earlier this year. In a situation where a lot of people would shut down completely, I asked him where he found the strength to continue. I just love hip-hop. I just love making hip-hop. Um, I love rapping, love beats. Uh, and, and now that I don't have to work, I've, I've got all this time, you know. <laughs> There's time on my hands and, and I just love writing raps. And, and um, so... Yeah, so Monster House was about three quarters the way finished anyway. Yeah. So finished that, and then um, and then turned out, turned to Roy and said, "Well, come on, then let's finish this one." Cause that was about halfway through as well. So we finished that one too, and and uh, I've almost finished. It. I'm just about to starting to finish another one now, and might even get it out before the end of the year. So what can you tell us about that? Because there was quite naturally a progression in the themes between Monster House and Fear and Loathing and I wonder if at your next record what kind of themes do you tackle on that? I've tried not to write too many songs about cancer and too many songs sucking yeah, but there is there, there, there is a couple. I've also um, um, sort of reconfirmed my faith in God and that's been um, that's that's also played a big part of my life and, and, and is reflected in my new album as well. But also there's about, uh, there's, there's a few party songs in there still and um, and there's just a few crime rhymes in there still, you know, so <laughs> there's still some of that Hunter flavour, you know, it's, it's always going to be, yeah. there's always going to be something hardcore. So three full-length albums in less than two years, that's a lot of work for anyone, but even that, was not enough for you because you've also put together a charity compilation, Aussie Hip Hop Supports Canteen. What can you tell us about that? Well, it was sort of suggested to me. It just made it just made so much sense because uh, I know everybody in Australian hip hop just about, um, and, and just about everybody knows me too. So uh, it was very easy for me to approach people like the Hilltop Hoods and the Coolism and bias B and people like that it was very easy for me to approach them and ask them for a song uh, so but I must say that I uh, as I got sicker um, I the, the bat I, I asked that I asked Daz for help and Daz pretty much um, took took over and poor but poor guy like I feel I feel terrible because he's just He's just been made to work for nothing, and um, I put this on his shoulders, and he just, he just, he's run with it, and he's, and he's done, he's done such a fantastic job. Something tells me you don't mind though, Daz. Nah, I don't mind at all. Anything for the crew. You might know Daz as MC Disaster from local hitmakers Downside, but he's been working with Hunter for about a decade. We met through, I mean, we met through Optimus, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Would have been, and it would have been just. Um, going going down to High Park on the Monday nights, and then eventually, I don't know, we we just sort of all started rapping together. And Des and I had done a song for the Downside album that Des had produced, and uh, and then we decided to sort of do an album together, and uh, that was done deal, and uh, the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> I'm in the place, rapping for canteen. It's MC Hunter, you definitely know that I mean. When it comes to the microphone, I'm obscene. It's Hunter on the microphone from the SBX team. The dream was to get to put together. Oh, damn it, this has got like a chorus on it. I was like, fine, that's whack. That was whack. I was really going for it then, too. Let's just try it from out right here. Best thing to do is like start it again, yeah? Yeah, I'm in the place to be, I represent the canteen, it's MC Hunter, wanna raise some money for the youth that are suffering from cancer. Hunter, I used to be a big break dancer, but these days I just grab the mic and rap and get hyped, you know I talk a lot. I sort, of, I sort of tried to master the whole thing, so basically I just wanted to get the whole album together and make it all level and sort of a consistent sounding, technically sounding album. Yep. And the hardest thing about that is every song that is submitted has come from different studios. 
and they mix differently. So it was, it was actually harder than I thought. It's come along really well. It's a really great listen. It's a, a mammoth album to listen to, but it's awesome. It's and got a really good sort of vibe about it. Aussie Hip Hop Supports Canteen, the charity compilation, will be in stores for Christmas. It features brand new tracks from Hilltop Hoods, Draft, Coolism, Layla, and heaps more, including tracks from MC Hunter himself, and all proceeds go directly to Canteen. I asked Hunter if he found that most artists he approached were happy to help out. Yeah, some some were under sort of contractual uh, contractual arrangements and, and couldn't yeah. couldn't provide a song. Um, yeah, so I was a little bit surprised that some some of the crews that I approached said no, um, but I was happy because the crews that I wanted that I wanted the most were Elephant Tracks. Hilltop Hoods, Coolism, uh, and Bias B and, and Checkers and a few other crew, this crew like that. They're the ones that I wanted the most, and they're the one, and they came through. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, some of the artists have chosen to rap about cancer, yeah. and some have just uh, just gone with their own flow. Yeah, so it's a, bit, it's a mixture of both. Uh, I think I think some of them were too sort of. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to bring people down, you know. We'd rather uplift, you know. So, so, which is a good thing too, you know. My main track that I put on there is called My Life. Uh, that that talks about cancer and uh, and how it's changed my life. And um, I, I don't know. It's a bit of a mix of a sort of a happier song, um, but it's also. Yeah, it's also maybe a little bit sad still, I suppose. Robert Allen Hunter died on Thursday, October 20, aged 36. He left behind his five-year-old son, Marley, and a legacy of four albums, a fifth to be released, and this charity compilation. Throughout it all, he didn't slow down and found strength in continuing to perform. The one about, about three months ago, I opened up for Pegs, and I got out of hospital that morning. And I was on, and I'd just done three days of pretty intensive chemo, and I'd still rock the show. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's remarkable, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it, it brings me to life. That's MC Hunter on Morning Magazine, if you enjoyed that story. You might be interested to know there's a documentary in the works about his life. Uh, when we did meet in early October, he wasn't able to tell me much about it, but a quick Google will get you the details that compilation aussie hip-hop supports canteen will be released on december 2 it's quarter away from